Hey YouTube, Tess Jess here. I've just been doing some uh, work around the house and uh, got a week off from work. And the package has arrived for me today. And it's from my, uh, a good seller, Kid Adult Shop. He uh, is, his services are really good. What I like about his services is that he, um, he photographs the invoice on your box with your name on it. Uh, when it's shipped and he doesn't muck around when it comes to shipping so uh, thank you very much to uh, Kid Adult for his uh, getting to this getting this to me very quick and he certainly tapes the box up well too okay let's get down to it lots of paper lots of paper and Oh, it got inspected. It's been opened up by security or scanned or what do you want to call it. I suppose that's common practice when it comes from Hong Kong. Okay. That box over there. I'm in the middle of doing some oiling for the timbers for gold at the side, so it's a hot stinking day so this is a uh, quite a pleasant relaxation for me doing this video okay sleepy hollow good way of uh, um, presenting the box with these well-known surgical goggles specs or what do you want to call them okay not much writing on the back just the uh, all the losses and crap Ichabod Crane, one six collectible. Wow, I, I'll tell you what, this totally surprised me. I didn't expect it to come out so quick for one, and releasing time was oh, isn't that cool? The sleeve is a uh, like a cutout which you can join together and do those strings like he like his, I think it was his mother that gave him to him. I'm sure it was his mother or his uh, or someone that was caring for him, but. Yeah, that's the uh, little bird in the cage. When you spin it quick enough, it looks like the bird is in the cage. Yeah, interesting. I like that. I really like it. Now, it's by the look of it, one all in one. There's no layers to it apart from, oh, yes, there might be. Anyway, that's how it's presented in the uh, your, your typical uh, Hot Toys presentation with the your clamshell. Bang! Cut it off. Ikebok crane. Definitely a good likeness to the man. I will, what I'll do is I'll get my other figures out and we'll just do a uh, comparison, face comparison, just to just to show you what, uh, you know, what his face looks like compared to the others. To me it looks like a, a strong likeness of the Toto figure, but who knows. Hot Toys are very clever that way. And reusing things without you, without you actually noticing. Right, looks like two layers in the clamshell with all his range of surgical stuff. It uh, goes for it. On the back, there's all the bottles, all his investigation, and um, okay, apron, some sort of little brochure, probably to tell you how to use it. You got his <clears throat> famous case, which I'll um, open up for you. I'll just unbox it for now. Standard base. To tell you the truth, I just prefer the standard base. I don't, I'm not into the fa uh, fancy bases and stuff like that. Okay. <clears throat> now the tricky part. You do get your spare um, wrist pegs 
and the set of hair to place on so you can put his goggles on of course. Pull these hands the hands out. are all in a uh, unusual pinching form or some sort of uh, gripping finger form, so almost like a trigger finger. It's hard to explain, so I'm just going to show you using the tweezers um, as best I can the different hands. It's a total of four right hands and two left hands, not including the relaxed hands that he's currently has on now. So here's the first right hand. As you can see, little pigments in his hand, palms from where he got uh, injured. There you go. The second right hand. Okay. The last of the right hands. I'd say that would be to, I don't know, not too sure, tell you the truth. Carrying the bag, carrying the case. It's not completely joined it at the thumb, so you'd be able to slip the case on, no worries at all. This is the left hand. This is almost like a carrying case hand as well, so. Okay, that's the hands. Wow, the, the case. This is, it's all about the case, isn't it really, guys? Actually, just um, just thinking on, um, I'll go so we'll open the case up without breaking anything. Very, very nervous about this. Whoa. Do we have to turn something to open it or? Okay, it's just a clip. Just clips close on the top here in the center. So it's just a matter of pulling it but I wouldn't pull it too hard by the material otherwise you might disconnect the glue from the frame okay that's what it looks like inside now it's just a matter of pulling pulling it up and lowering the case down I'm going to lower it down as low as I can possibly go but as you can see it protrudes quite a long way out these are metal, so the scissor, the scissor type construction on the sides of this uh, basket that you raise to hold all the, you know, surgical stuff, investigation stuff, uh, is made out of metal. So don't be scared to pull it. It's quite sturdy, well designed. It looks like it's been it's been screwed on to the top. So it's quite strong. The only thing you have to worry about is when you're opening the case. That is all the way to the bottom of the bag, that scissor action. All the way to the bottom. Amazing, but this is absolutely amazing. Top toys are really hit it this time with what you get with this. Now, I'm going to get the camera down here. We're going to, I'm going to open the case, oh, there's, there's clamshell, and show you all the stuff you get in this. Okay, let's do it. I'll go set the camera up. Okay, let's split them. So we start with the uh, the bottles. We'll crack that open very carefully. As you can see, there's um, a total of four, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 bottles. So that is amazing just in its on its own. So we'll get all those out. 
just tipping it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be rude and tip it all out. Plastic. Now, I don't know if you can see the writing on that, but yeah. Excuse my hands, guys. I've been labouring really bad, really hard. So those two look like they're identical. Then you get another two bottles of a white substance, smaller bottles. Then you get two of a blue. All different shapes too, mind you. All different types of caps and to make it more interesting, they'll be quite dull. With like a creamy brown, I suppose you'd say, I'm not too sure. Like a sort of orange brownish colour. More of a yellow orange. That looks like almost like a liquid. Some most of them look like liquid. Like a reddish. And then some sort of cloth wrap seal seals. Beautiful, beautiful bottles. So to just that alone, um, just, have a, just them alone is uh, fantastic. So let's zoom down to here, where we have our our surgical stuff. Now. Guys, I have to be so you have to be very careful when pulling those out of that uh, the clamshell because it's, this feels Here's delicate his to me. This they do have a hinge system, so they be very delicate on closing and opening them if you wish. I'm going to leave them opened. Wow. Yeah, instead of pulling it out, you've got two different levels of, uh, of these vocals, bivocals or what do you want to call them. They, um, one's smaller than the other. Okay. They just hook onto the glasses. Okay, we have four of these lenses and by the looks of it they are quite they are magnetized a little bit I'm just focusing on that item behind me glasses and they are a little bit magnified so or, or representing a magnifier glass so another clever idea from Hot Toys I'm just trying to get my camera to focus. There you go. There's four of those. So I'm, I'm not sure if you'd be able to double stack them or I'm not too sure how to fit them on. So we'll have to work on work on that later on. I didn't realise too guys that um, the goggles here have another articulation point at the back there so it folds into four basically okay I'm gonna get my tweezers out because they're so small these instruments just gonna pinch them with the pliers and another one amazing stuff what that is, incre that is incredible all the stuff you see on the uh, movie is pretty much here in your hands. Wow, look at that. That's the third. And he's 
famous scissors. Incredible. Even with a little magnifying glass on the end. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Focus. Whoa. So many little bits and pieces and you don't know. You'd have to put them straight into the bag, otherwise you'd lose them, I reckon, for sure. Oh, amazing. There you go. We have a little booklet there. I'm not sure if you can see the writing. Tiny little booklet. Also, we have here the... The apron. And here's the apron. Just a loop on the back with the uh, strings either side for the waist. Nice little finishing touch. In my eyes, this uh, is a is a brilliant sculpt. You know, the likeness of Johnny Depp is there. I just noticed, guys, opening the coat up that uh, on the his his inside coat, his jacket, there's two loops uh, that are visible to put something into. I'm not sure what what he puts in there, but I suppose it'd be his uh, maybe booklet. I'm just thinking maybe his, maybe his booklet goes in there or something like that. Not too sure. But there's definitely two visible straps that are um, inside the jacket and nowhere else. But, yes, very happy. The, the coat is like a, a felt, felt feel to it. It's uh, quite a nice feel to it. His tails is quite visible there we split boots are a little bit uh, you can pose them a little bit but not much so don't don't think you can be able to pose him in too many eggs I don't think you have to anyway this sort of figure well tailored jacket let's just slip the hair off magnetized hair and then it's just a matter of putting this one on. And that's when you can put the goggles on. Blends in quite well. Just a fine visible line along here that you can see. Just like in the movie, he looks fantastic. Uh, it's going to be another beautiful figure to add to my collection. I'm just going to get the other figures out now so you can compare heads. And uh, that's it for my Here's video, my guys. Of Johnny Depp figures. We have Ichabod Crane. And a slightly smaller. Because he's not wearing high heel boots. Tonto. Jack Sparrows. And Sweeney Todd. The boots are somewhat similar to Sweeney Todd's, but they're not identical. I'm really happy with uh, how he looks and, and the quality of the, the coat. Uh, together they look fantastic. I'm so happy to have... Uh, Ichabod, Ichabod Crane, because he, I did, it was just a figure that he, I didn't think they were going to make, and uh, I did see a prototype of uh, a figure that possibly was going to get made, but wasn't. 
absolutely sure. So now I have him to add to my lineup, which I'm really happy with. I think uh, possibly his next figure would be uh, the the wolf from Into the Woods, no doubt, because that he looks fantastic as well with the fluffy hands and all that sort of stuff, and the big long nails and wicked ears. So I'd say that would be the next one that Hot Toys will probably do because I'd say they are a bit of a fan of uh, Johnny Depp. Great. So there okay. you have it guys. Uh, there's your Ichabod Crane from Hot Toys. Thanks to a kid adult shop uh, for the quick delivery. Uh, you did muck around mate. Thank you very much. And the case extra pegs the five, is it six sets of hands, another hair piece, the apron, was it, I did I say, a 14 bottles or whatever it was I said before. Those four lenses, I don't think you can put use them on anything. I might be wrong. Uh, if I am, someone please show me uh, on the next review how they use them or do they just go in the case like with everything else. And you got your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight surgical tools. Very finely made, very intricate, very delicate. Don't break them. Um, I, I prefer to use tweezers, put them in the case, and tweezers to take them out of the case because clumsy fingers of mine will break them. And they're very unique goggles set there which has two different size lenses uh, wide lenses uh, they are slightly magnified if you look inside them they are magnified so well best they can do out of plastic anyway well done hot toys for what you get I think it's a fair price 230 something dollars uh, I think I paid 270 all up to get it posted to me so that was fantastic uh, yeah, Australian dollars not too good, but but uh, for 270 US, I think that's fantastic. Highly sought after piece, especially that. The case is absolutely amazing. As I said, metal inside goes all the way to the bottom. It's braced in the bottom. It's well tailored. It feels like leather. It looks like leather. It's if it's not leather, it's a very very close likeness to leather amazing hope you enjoyed my video I've rambled on too long Ichabod Crane test just one out catch ya